Today, in the video clip, we're going to basically take the Horn Hunter Full Curl uh, frame pack and we're going to turn it into the Horn Hunter Full Curl system. Basically, by adding a couple bags. We're going to add the uh, Full Curl Big Bag here and the Full Curl um, pack in the front, and those two together combined with the frame make this, make this whole system. So, we're going to start out with doing that. Basically, the way we do that, let's take this frame, we're going to undo and open this up to make it really easy to get everything accessible. We're going to undo those three compression straps. Let's go ahead and drop down the shelf and get it out of the way. Okay. What we'll do is these two bags here, we'll go ahead and lay this frame down. And basically what we've got is we've got two different, two different bags. We've got the, the bag here, which is the big bag here. And then we've got the pack, okay, which hooks on the front. So the frame pack itself, when we include the, the day pack, is called the combo. Okay. When we include the big bag and the day pack, and all three of them together, we call it the system. And that's how we uh, advertise it on the website. So basically the first thing we're going to do is really simple. We're just going to take the back of this pack, we're going to run it over this edge of this big bag. We're going to pull the handle up through the center, okay. And we're going to pull those corners down over, and it fits down really snug, and we're just going to secure this piece down here, Velcro. And that holds that around the top. On the sides, we have a buckle here on the side. It just snaps in here. We have the same buckle on the other side. It snaps in here. And we're set there. And now we're going to go ahead and let's just bring out the shelf. And the shelf comes up and there's two different straps of 45 degree angles. We can lay that out. You can see that one strap there. Snaps in there and tightens that shelf. Okay. And then the other side has the same exact strap that buckles to here. Okay. And that strap snaps in there. So, I know there's a lot of straps. We really, really make sure that we have plenty of straps in the room because we want you to be able to expand the pack as you're loading up meat and, and gear. So, there's a lot of different things, but it really is self explanatory. If you just lay the pack down in the position over the bag, it's pretty obvious where each of the buckles snap in. So, that's, that's it. That is now assembled. The big bag is on here, ready to go. You've got the shelf here. Obviously, we can bring these three around the front, snap those together and compress that whole load. You can see how that compresses on down. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it from the big bag, we're going to turn it into a system by putting this little day pack over the front. Okay. So basically this day pack has two at the top, two in the middle, and two in the bottom. Very, very simple. We've got two buckles here at the top corners. We've got two here in the bag here in the center, one here and one here. And then we have two at the bottom or two at the very bottom to put the bottom straps and we just connect those on. So if we take this stay pack, we can snap that in here, snap the other one on this side, and it's now hanging and supporting its weight. It's got two different ways to do this. One, we can hook this into the big bag, which gives us the space to bring this out and, and create space. Or if we really want to suck the load in, we can undo this big bag one here that we just did a second ago, tuck that in strap out of the way, and we can take the day pack strap here from here and go right over the top and skip that one and go into that one. And that allows us to really compress the load and tighten it and pull this pack down into the frame. So we can do it either way. And there's two of those. We do each one on each side. And then on the bottom, there's two different ways you can do it. On the bottom of this frame, depending upon how much your load is on, on this bottom shelf and how, how much space you have, you can hook the bottom of this pack to these two straps here. There's two of them here, one here, and one here. You can see how that sits, okay, that hooks to there. Or if you don't have a lot in here and you really want to compress the load down more, you can actually take these straps here and just loosen them and you can run them all the way to the bottom. That just gives you another way, gives a little bit more support, just gives us kind of a dual connection system. So you can really kind of almost make that shelf disappear if you don't have a lot of load in there, you can pull that shelf in. So then once you're set there, now you've got these full, these two compression, we call them compression panels on the sides with three webbing straps in the center and they come all the way around the center here and snap together and snap together and the third one up here so you can see how we can tighten that load. This pack is this pack. Um, this has just been loaded down and as you obviously just put gear in you can move it in. So the neat thing about this day pack is is to paint upon that load this day pack you can loosen these straps and you can pull this day pack and move it out or bring it in to paint upon how much load you have inside of here. So basically there you have it. This is how we get from the, the frame pack all the way up to the system, and then to take it apart, 
really simple. Obviously, just kind of do everything in reverse. Just snap those buckles down, pop the buckles there. You you're all go all the way to the bottom, and it's loose. When you're loading the thing up, especially with meat, it's really nice to be able to completely remove the pack, lay everything out. You're going to go through here. We're going to drop that over the top. We're going to undo those middle straps, and that just slides out of the shelf. Let's get those out of the way. And now we're back to the frame pack that we started with. You can see we go really from one to the other, but it's really just off the system of two snaps here, two snaps here, and two snaps here. Um, and those snap buckles just connect together, they just click together really quick and you're all set, ready to go.